I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. This is a handy little tool. It's a portable mixer that we use on a regular basis. We use it for several reasons. Number one, we'll produce samples. A lot of times, we'll work with uh, designers or architects, and they'll request small samples. And it's uh, not practical to order a yard of concrete for something like that. So we can mix small batches of concrete for our samples. Predominantly, though, we use this uh, portable mixer for concrete countertops, both precast and cast in place. Now, if you're using a manufacturer's bag mix, typically, depending on how much material is in the bag, we can usually get about three to four bags of a bag mix, or certainly you can mix up your own concrete as well. The way it works is we found, uh, again, depending on whose material you're working with, we'll put the water in the mixer first and then add the dry ingredients into the bag and let it mix for a good three to four minutes so you have a good consistent mix. Um, it's very useful, it's lightweight, it's practical to bring right out to the job site. So uh, let's show you how it works. The portable mixer comes with two pieces. You certainly have the mixer and the stand. Now the stand is very useful because what it does, it, it, it gets the uh, mixing unit up off the ground and what that means is it enables the applicator or the technician to dump the concrete since it's two or three feet higher into a wheelbarrow or a separate uh, vessel. A couple of safety considerations to take into account when working with this mixer is the way that you lift. Lift with your legs when you're positioning it onto the stand. If you notice, we lifted with our legs as opposed to uh, bent over because it is a little bit awkward and you don't want to put strain on your back. In addition, when we plug it in and turn the machine on, the drum will in fact rotate. So you don't want to have anybody's hand or arm anywhere near that. So really be careful when working with this uh, tool. Here's how it works. You simply plug it in to the feed here. Here you have your on off switch and if you'll notice, it's that simple. It is pretty nice too because it does swivel right around. So what we would do, and by the way when you're putting the ingredients in, I like to go ahead, unplug it. Make sure it's unplugged. Then you put the water and uh, you get ready to go with your mixing water. And then as it's turning you might want to consider dumping the bags in. So we would, it would look something like this. The water is already in there and now we're dumping our dry ingredients into the mixer. Once it's mixed for, like I said, the specified time, three to four minutes, um, then you're going to dump it into the uh, vessel, a wheelbarrow or in this case um, a mortar bucket. One last tip for safety. A lot of times what happens is you're mixing, um, material will become built up on the sides. So don't just reach in there as the drum is spinning. Once again, Turn it off and as an added safety precaution, unplug it, take your scraper or your margin trowel, scrape the sides, then plug it back in and you're ready to go. Once it's mixed, you can see here we have a handy little cart. It has a swivel point that will simply come over, dump it right into place, okay, and that's how it works. Um, this is a unique little system. We find that sometimes the wheelbarrow, if you put a standard wheelbarrow underneath there, it's either too high um, or it's very cumbersome. You have to tilt the wheelbarrow. So we came across this little stand. You fill your mortar vessel and then you simply have a hydraulic hose line and you're able to pump it right up to your desired level. Use your gloves and uh, put the concrete in its final resting place if it's a concrete countertop, for example. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.